Since I've been like watching so many of these type of videos on YouTube and they're always like, oh I got it on eBay and they got it for like crazy prices. I'm like, what the hell? How are they doing that? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jay Choice Tibbet. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome in the first place. If it's not, welcome back. As you can see, I am back sitting, filming a video. So also, as you can see, setting is different. I know like in my last sit down videos, we've had like the uh, orange chair, we've had like downstairs in the, my new building in the lounge. Now that like I actually have furniture in the new apartment, um, I'm kind of going to try and figure out what spot is going to be the best to film in. So I think this is going to be it. The only thing is that this rag sheds. That might not be the best thing. We're, we're going to figure it out as it goes. I'm going to figure it out as it goes. Also, ugh, I'm talking too much. Anyway, so this video, I am going to be not unboxing because this is actually a box from my shoes. Um, but I ended up buying something, my first pre-loved item on eBay and it was from Dior. So here's the thing with eBay. So like, I always, I've always known that like, you can get amazing things on eBay like for super crazy good prices and like people sell like things like pretty much brand new on there but I'm just always afraid I'm gonna get a fake. And so I've always kind of been averse to it. But since I've been like watching so many of these type of videos on YouTube and they're always like, oh I got it on eBay and they got it for like crazy prices. I'm like, what the hell? How are they doing that? So I've been kind of, I was kind of like researching and digging around. I've been wanting this item for a long time. I think I, I put it on my story. I was actually gonna get it before getting the soft trunk. It was between this item and the soft trunk. I ended up seeing the item in the Dior store, and I was when I saw it, I was like, ooh, this doesn't seem as like luxe as it does in pictures. And I was like, for twenty seven hundred dollars pretty much $3,000 after tax, that's kind of a lot. And so I just didn't get it. But I was just kind of like scrolling eBay and I ended up finding this. I've been talking a lot. Let me just open the freaking thing. But here it is, it came in the dust bag. And it is none other than Kim Jones's men's Dior saddle bag with the Alex Alex buckle, this will focus. Well, here's the thing. So when I got the bag, I was a little underwhelmed, but I think it was also because I was like wearing a super terrible outfit. <laughs> so it looked weird. This is a really good styling piece. Like if you have a good outfit on, when you put this on, it like will elevate your look so much. It's also just like, so iconic because it's like the saddle bag was brought to the Christian Dior house by John Galliano back in like the 90s. They discontinued it, they brought it back for the woman. But then Kim Jones, creative director for men, brought it for the guys. So what happened with this is that I was just kind of looking and I actually found another one that was for like a crazy price, like $600. And I was like, this can't be real. And I was like, but the photos looked really good. I was talking to the seller and then they had all the pictures, they had like the authenticity card, they had the booklet, but then what I did was, cause I'm thrifty, not thrifty, what's the word? I'm cunning, that's the word, cunning. I looked at the, <laughs> I, I, I zoomed in super close to the care booklet, and then I went on YouTube and watched an unboxing of someone who also had a Dior care booklet, and I paused it, screenshot it, and looked at theirs and compared the two. Almost identical, the only thing missing was a period. So that's what I knew. All, was, I should have known since it was $600 on the bag, usually it was for almost $3,000. But I got excited by the price, and I, but then when I saw that the period was missing, I was like, okay, this is the real. After I ended up not getting the fake one, I was just kind of on them. So since eBay knew I was looking for a saddle bag, it was like kind of doing similar items like on my um, homepage. And then I found this one. And so this one I think was like, tw I think 2100 the person was selling it for. And so I put in a bid, before I the bid ended, I had reached out to them and asked like for pictures. Um, I was really interested in the item. And they were so responsive and so nice. And I was like, and they were in New York. I was like, oh, okay, they're in New York. Um, they also had the receipt. 
So that was also, I was like, okay, they have the receipt and like with like the order number, the essay that they use. They bought it on the Madison Avenue boutique, not Madison, the Fifth Avenue boutique, which I had shopped at before. And so I was like, okay, this looks promising. So then, um, turns out I don't win the bid. But a few days later, they reach out to me again. They're like, oh, are you still interested in this? The person who won the bid isn't paying me. I'm canceling it. And I know you're interested. Would you still want it? And I was like, <gasps> so then I was like, because of that, I have the upper hand. So then I was like, okay, let me try and get as, like, as good a price as possible. So I keep going back and forth negotiating with him. I, I started with $1,000 and he was like, no. And so, but I ended up getting the bag for a wave point, $1,400. $1,400, pretty much brand new. And they were in New York, they lived in the West Village. Another reason I was like, okay, but probably real. Really? I'm filming. Because if you live in the West Village, you're not really buying fake Dior saddlebags. And I have the receipt. So because I got such a good price for it, I'm really happy with the bag. If I would have paid full price, I would have been like, this is kind of underwhelming. Because like, first off, you really can't fit much in this thing because like it looks like it's a pretty deep pocket but it's actually not because the cloth inside doesn't go that far deep so and because of the shape like the saddle shape it like doesn't it's like it's just it's hard to explain like if you think you can fit a lot in this and like sometimes like i guess i have like fit a good amount in here like i fit a lot of snacks like a bag of chips pretzel some Skittles and like something else to a movie once. So it was effective there. But, but usually like, I like to put like my gym clothes, like if I go to Soul Circle or something in my bags. Um, I always have like my iPad, well clearly something like my iPad and stuff, but like, well even like, if it's like I'm going to an English class and I just want to bring a book, won't fit in here because of like the weird shape. So I have to like wear this and like hold the book in my hand. So, that's one thing, but it's like such a trendy piece and it's like such a collector's piece too. And I'm just glad I have it. And like the fact that I got it for such a freaking amazing price. I literally can't believe how good of a price I got. So I forgot to mention how I authenticated it was that because I had the receipt, I called the store. <laughs> I had called the Fifth Avenue which you and I was like, oh, so I just like bought this bag. Like, could I bring it in for you to authenticate? And they're like, oh, we don't do that. I'm like, okay, well, I have the receipt and all the information. Can I just give me the order number and you can like confirm that it's the bag and like it was bought here? And she's like, well, we can't give out client information. And I was like, but I have the order number. So they're not really giving me their information. I'm giving you the information. And she was like, well, okay. <laughs> so she told me exact same order number, exact same digits on the card. The only thing that would be that like, if they would have bought a real one and switched it out with a fake, but like this person wasn't doing that much. They lived in the West Village, like, they messaged me in the bag. All in all, it was a great win. Super excited about this. And I'll also put a review up too soon on my blog, which I post new um, blog posts every Monday. So definitely follow me there. And also, if you're not following me on Instagram, like what are you doing? At J Tibbets. I post like, all outfit photos, but I also like show all like my, my new pieces on there too, and I do unboxings on my IGTV. So that's kind of it for this video. Short and sweet. I have to get ready for class, but I just wanted to jump on here and show you guys this bad boy. So I will see you guys on the next video. If you like this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you back, and I'll see you next week. See you guys.